Good. I good. think we're going to be in good shape tonight. Good shape for the weekend. Here we go. This is our sky cam and look at that. We've got some clearing taking place now back in the western sky and could there be a shower this weekend? Yes, but most locations will be dry. The chance of any one spot getting rain is quite small, which means good news for the strawberry festival at Coleman tomorrow. A mixture of clouds and sunshine uh, mid 60s at 9 o'clock highs in the mid to upper 70s, maybe touching 80 at some point. And again, there might be a shower, but they should be few and far between. Many locations will be dry. Had some rain around today. That rain is fading fast. Here's the current radar. We still have some light rain south and east of Birmingham from Sylacauga right down Highway 280 down toward Goodwater, Alexander City, Dadeville into Chambers County. Uh, this will be ending soon. And by the time we talk tonight at 10, the bulk of the rain will be gone. Heavier storms near the Alabama Gulf Coast around Dolphin Island. Those will be affecting Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. But again, under severe limits, not affecting our part of the state at all. Uh, cool day today with temperatures holding in the 60s because of clouds and rain. And I would suggest that today will be the last day with highs in the 60s until sometime in October. We're headed for the 80s next week. In fact, we might see 90 in spots by the middle part of next week as the summer heat and humidity is on the way. Birmingham at 66, the same for Tuscaloosa. Gadsden 63, Anniston currently at 64. This evening, the sky will stay cloudy. We'll basically hold at 60 all night long. And again, the bulk of the rain is over. Just a small chance of a shower after midnight tonight. We'll take a look at future view. This is the hour by hour forecast. You can see the sky cloudy overnight tonight. We start the day tomorrow, upper 50s and low 60s. Many things are happening outdoors tomorrow and the news is good. Uh, you see hardly any green on the map here, which means the chance of a shower is very small. Could there be one? Yes, but again, they should be few and far between and check out the numbers. Many spots will likely see highs at or over 80, especially where the sun pops out. And quite frankly, it's the same situation on Sunday. Most likely we start the day Sunday morning with some clouds. Temperatures early Sunday, upper 50s and low 60s. And again, we'll exceed 80 in most all locations by Sunday afternoon. And again, uh, notice some upper 80s possible on that western side of the state. And we could see 90 for the first time in a while next week. Here we go. Next 10 days. Tomorrow and Sunday, a mix of sun and clouds with only a small chance of any one spot getting a shower both days. 80 tomorrow, 83 on Sunday. We'll see an increase in the number of showers and thunderstorms on Monday and Tuesday, but even then not raining all day. Warm, humid, highs in the 80s, lows in the 60s. And then look at the upper 80s on Wednesday and Thursday, maybe some spots hitting 90, and most likely we stay with highs in the 80s, lows in the 60s on through that following weekend as a big ridge builds in across Alabama in the deep south, setting up that summer-like weather pattern. You can catch my forecast every day on great radio stations around the state, including in Birmingham, 98.7 KISS.